And here we are back for the next bigger build. Uh, set 10113 from Mold King. It's quite a new set launched. Uh, 1,471 pieces and it's the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. Probably one of my favourite Skylines. Um, so yeah, let's uh, dig into this box. As you can see, typical delivery. It's not the best of conditions. It was just literally poly bagged up and posted out. show some of the other features of the car. I love the detail of this this rear. I'm not sure what's going on with that exhaust. That'd be interesting to sort out. Love the detailing of the engine there. Looks really good inside. Got some nos canisters where the spare seat will be the passenger seat would normally be. And uh, opening boot. Yeah looking forward to this one. Not sure I'll be applying all the stickers to it. I think they sort of take away some of the yeah definitely not going to put Wissan on on the back um, but yeah I'll probably just stick with the number plates on this one yep yeah, right well, that's the box nine packets and a decent sized manual with uh, really clear instructions as always from Old King which is which is good to see. So let's clear the table and we'll get this one built.
closer up to the camera. And I'll go into a bit more of the detail. Really impressed with the build. Some nice techniques in there as well. As you can see, I've decided not to sticker it up with the stickers that were supplied. Um, well, I've, I've done a few. I've just put GTR on the front number plate and Skyline to the rear number plate. It's also got the stickers on the dials just inside the car as well. But I decided not to put the misspelt Nissan signs on it and all the logos down the side. Uh, I just think it looks better as it is as a, as a well stock car without the logos. Um, but yeah, it's still still done on, up in this uh, in this style. One big flaw I hate is this exhaust. I mean, was that ever a thing? Way too big. Um, I personally, you know, would re redesign that and make that a lot smaller. Perhaps even make it quad exhaust so you've got two coming out the other side as well. But I would set this back sort of two studs closer or something like that so it is fairly flush with the with the rear of the car but yeah let's have a look at some of the details so really really love the detailing of this front you can see the pipes for intercooler and everything like that to the front there as well love the design of the headlights that's quite a different approach with clear bricks uh, on on that if you look at a lot of the ones these days it's they, they sort of just blank them off I just want to put stickers but uh, yeah I really love the the look of the front and it is actually fairly sturdy although these bits here are the the weakest point that do detach the bonnet I think underneath the bonnet here is probably one of the better designs of engines there's been I love the idea that you can see a turbo and you can see the air filter there as well there's a little stay to prop that up so you can actually have the bonnet in an up position but really really impressed with the level of detail on the inside there and again the bonnet is nice and sturdy as well but uh yeah so let's fold that down then we move to the inside doors open up as they should um, the one you as you can see previously the mirror i built from mold king the doors fully flipped all the way back to the front wings uh, again, another really neat seat design. So this is quite a quite a nice racing sort of designer seat, and the the way they've used the red sort of Lego tool part as racing seat belts. So you can just see that. I think is a really nice detail and, and works really really well in there. Uh, there is only the one seat. If you go to the other side, let me just open that door up. You can see there are two nitrous bottles just in there as well and the level of detail there is there's even a glove box that actually opens and closes i don't know if you'll see because it's so dark in there but you've got a working glove box now the nos bottles don't actually sit down there's no studs on them it literally just slots inside where the seat would be a um, little bit of a look at a roll cage in there um, you don't see many cars <coughs> achieve that kind of look. And the detail in the mirrors, again, they've used clear bricks there, but the shaping of the mirrors just really works quite well. Um, a lot of models don't have this sort of profile in the mirrors and, and don't seem, seem to work so well. So the design of that is really, really good. No rear screen, you've got a front screen and sort of wiper blades there, but there's, there's no rear screen. I think they need to develop an element that, that has a rear screen it look better with that but I love that you've got like a speaker set up in the back here as well it looks quite cool biggest weak weak point in this design is, is this roof it doesn't really sit too strongly I couldn't lift it up with that without it detaching it is just two bricks holding it underneath here and this just rests on the windowsill there they they're too close to be able to snap together there um, so yeah, it looks good, but again, it's, it is a display piece. It is a bit too fragile for that. Again, with this tailpipe that literally just wants to come off every five minutes. I, I looked and I looked and that really is the correct design for that, which I find bizarre. Looking at the box as well, it, it really protrudes like that, so it is correct. 
Again, another great wing. I love these elements here that attach the actual spoiler to the boot lid. Uh, and quite rare for any of these cars, the boot properly opens up. Not much space in there because you've, you've got a lot of the uh, attachments and, and parts for the interior. But uh, yeah, great level of detail for that to be able to open there as, as well. And then to the wheels, I think it's... They've done really well to achieve the low profile look by having these uh, covers that uh, cover the actual wheel and part of the tyre. So it makes it a real low profile look which suits the car really well. Um, if anything, I'd say it could be doing a little bit bigger but there's, you know, they're limited with what they currently produce. So you know, I'm, I'm sure in future as more and more car models come out they will produce a lot more range of wheels and alloy designs. But you know, that does work really well. You got the rear lights which work brilliantly as well. And again, the whole rear end is really, really sturdy. And just to show you underneath as well, uh, obviously the nos bottles are going to fall out. It is just pretty much all plating, so there's very little in the way of Technic pieces apart from the elements of the uh, wheel attachments. So there we go. That is the Nissan Skyline. Really impressive with this this range of scale of cars that Mold King have brought out. We'll definitely be looking to purchase more. Have you got any others? There we go, that's that piece I said is the weak spot that wants to pop off. Have you got any others that they have done in this scale? I will be looking at buying others. They're the only two brand new ones I've recently ordered and built from them, so I will be having a look and see what else there is that I can order up to build for the channel. But yeah, really, really happy with this set. Even the, the detailing of the bonnet there as well, or the scoops, just just really, really works. Yeah, definitely a keeper. Another one for the collection. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And I shall open up voting on Monday for a short build to do early next week. And then another one for uh, later in the week. So, yeah, keep subscribed. Keep watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks very much.